Hello, this is Amjad El Mandelawi from Baghdad, Iraq, presenting a case of a stent edge dissection. The case is a 55 year old man, ex smoker, with a recent diabetes, he is not hypertensive, presented with non ST segment elevation MI with a positive troponin, admitted to the hospital for three days, stabilized. Catheterization was done 10 days later. This is the AP caudal view of the left system, shows non critical lesion in a large circumflex, and the critical lesion in the LED just beyond a small diagonal. So, functionally, it's a proximal. This is AP cranial view, it shows a large LED with a Timmy flow 2 and subtotal proximal lesion. The area caudal view of the same lesion, we can see the critical lesion and see that the plaque nearly extending up to 10 mm short of the ostium of the LED. This is important to realize what happened later because we thought that the size of the stent and the length was not appropriate. Anyhow, we went ahead for PCI predilated with a balloon 3.0 by 12 and then with the stent 3.5 by 14 inflated to 12 atmosphere the nominal was 9 atmosphere and this is the result after stenting we can realize the haziness at the proximal edge of the stent and now the timmy flow is a 3 and to know what was going on and what was the significance of this haziness we did OCT. This is a pullback OCT from mid part of the stent to the proximal and then to the ostium of LID and then to the left main stem. The stent is well opposed and there is some minor plaque protrusion. The proximal edge of the stent we can see the flap of dissection at the area of a plaque extending about 8 mm. The ostium of the LED is free of dissection as well as the left menisten. Here is a still picture review. We can see few struts of the stent and the beginning of the flap of dissection. Here is the extension of the dissection flap. There are a few important things to take into consideration when we face a stent edge dissection. First is the luminal area. The lower the luminal area, the more significance of this dissection. The depth of the dissection is also important and to know whether it involves only the intima or also extending to the media. And the arc of the dissection can be calculated from the center of the artery and the length of the dissection and this can be calculated from the longitudinal view. So what do we know about the stent edge dissection? There have been many studies, although small, done about stent edge dissection. Intravascular imaging using IVAS was shown to be more sensitive than angiography with a prevalence of 6.6 in one large study, that is the ADAPT drug eluting stent study. OCT is even more sensitive with a range of 19 to 38%. In one study of 230 patients with a 249 lesion, the prevalence was found to be 37.8%. 80% of these lesions were not apparent on angiography and only 22% of these patients required additional stenting. What are the risk factors for edge dissection? Well, vessel overstretching is important, lumen eccentricity, stent edge at atherosclerotic plaque. And here the plaque was uh, the importance and the part, type of the plaque was different among different studies. Some studies found that 
a calcific plaque at the proximal edge of the, of the stent was significant. Other studies found that attenuated plaque at the distal edge of the significance. Overall, a lipid-rich plaque was found significant, but not a fibrotic plaque. So these are risk factors of inducing dissection. What is the significance of edge dissection when detected by OCT? We know that OCT is very sensitive and can detect very minor edge dissections. Uh, and these might be clinically irrelevant. And there is disagreement between studies about the clinical significance of such dissection, maybe due to small sizes of the studies. But overall, there is an impression that there is association between edge dissection and MACE, mostly target lesion revascularization. And now what are the risk factors for MACE in a patient with edge dissection? The most important is final luminal area. The lower, the higher incidence of adverse events. A wide dissection angle is important, a long dissection and deeper dissection. Most of these points were present in our studies, although the final luminal area was not very much reduced. So we went on for additional stenting using 3.5 by 12 was deployed approximately up to the ostium, and this is the final result. The messages from this case, overstretching and deployment of a stent at atherosclerotic plaque can lead to stent edge dissection. Imaging studies like IVAS and OCC are more sensitive for detection of stent edge dissection. Additional stenting might be required, if, especially if there is luminal narrowing. And thank you.